Hello guys. Matthew here. I have a story I would like to share with you guys. It's a story about my keyboard slash piano story I would like to share with you guys. Without further ado. Let's get this story started. Shall we? Okay. So from a long time ago somewhere back in the later 2000s, I had a music keyboard called Casio LK300 TV that someone in my family, probably my dad, had gotten. I started playing on the Casio LK300 TV keyboard since back then, but I didn't know how to use the Casio LK300 TV as much during that time, because I didn't even know how to play any piano slash keyboard properly until somewhere in late 2019 or early 2020. Then back somewhere in late 2019 or early 2020. I started to learn myself how to use the Casio LK300 TV properly by playing many songs on the Casio LK300 TV, because I had gotten more music knowledge from some music programs like Anvil Studio, FL Studio and MuseScore, especially from when I was doing video game music remixes but with using MIDI files I would download from the internet. Then I got better and better in playing my Casio LK300 TV by starting to take piano classes since somewhere in October 2020. But not only I was practicing my songs in my piano books that I learned in my piano classes on my Casio LK300 TV keyboard. But I was also practicing them on the acoustic piano that I had since somewhere in the earlier 2010s decade but was originally one my brother used to take piano classes. Then later on since July 2022, me and my mom went to someone's house but I had discovered a digital piano called the Casio CDP200R so I played on it and enjoyed it. I liked the Casio CDP200R piano at someone's house better than my Casio LK300 TV keyboard because the Casio CDP200R has 88 keys, weighted keys a pitch bend wheel, a pedal, which my Casio LK300 TV keyboard was missing a pedal, 670 sounds and other more features and functions that the Casio CDP200R piano has. But whereas my Casio LK300 TV keyboard had 61 keys, unweighted keys, no pitch bend wheel, missing a pedal, 514 sounds and other fewer features and functions. Then later on, since I liked the Casio CDP200R piano at someone's house better than my Casio LK300 TV keyboard, on December 1, 2022, I asked my dad if he could get me the Casio CDP200R piano for Christmas. But sadly, the Casio CDP200R piano was not available online due to it being too old and not that popular. Then on December 17 but in the evening, me and my mom went to two houses and they both had parties going on there. But in the second house that me and my mom went to, I was eager to go play on the Casio CDP200R before me and my mom went to celebrate someone's birthday in their basement and then later at the end during late night. I was playing on the Casio CDP200R. I had lots of fun playing on the Casio CDP200R piano and I was jumping around because of the fact that I absolutely love that digital piano. And me and my mom came home at like after 1am. The Casio CDP200R had become my favorite piano and the best piano I have ever played in my life and I got obsessed with it. However. It was disappointing that the Casio CDP200R piano was no longer available online. So instead, I made an idea on getting a different Casio CDP piano called the Casio CDPS360 which would be a closest alternative to the Casio CDP200R, which the Casio CDP200R was and still is my favorite piano since the Casio CDPS360 piano was released much more recently than the Casio CDP200R, which the Casio CDPS360 was released in 2022. The Casio CDPS360 has 88 keys, weighted keys, a pitch bend wheel, a pedal, 700 sounds and other more features and functions. And finally, I got a Casio CDPS360 piano that my dad ordered online for me that was on January 20th, 2023 and I started to play on my Casio CDPS360 and enjoyed it. The Casio CDPS360 became my favorite piano and the best piano I have ever played in my life along with the Casio CDP200R. This was my keyboard slash piano story I have wanted to share to you all.